Genesis Experience Room has just finally reached on XGA and I really want to review this room because it has really good backup, battery backup performance and we can use the latest Afterburn Gurner supported novel in this room too. So if you watch the video, this is Marshall Tech Portal and in this video, I am going to show you the Genesis Experience Room installation and a quick review about the performance and the battery backup. So without any further ado, let's get started. Everybody sing that shit. Subscribe to Tech Portal for more videos like this and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. So guys, the installation procedure is the same. You have to boot your device into DWRP mode. If you don't have, you can check out my other videos. So now just press the volume of power and home key simultaneously to boot into DWRP recovery. And now you must first create a backup of your internal room. So first create a backup and after that you can restore it easily. So now go to Y. Click on Delivery Cache, Cache, Data and System, don't touch anything and just swipe to wipe and now go back to the installation directory where you have downloaded the zip file and after that just click on that and just swipe to confirm flash and it will take around 4 to 5 minutes to complete the boot. So guys, I have just charged my device up to 100% to check the performance and the battery backup and in this uh, I did the N2 benchmark score in which we are getting almost around 41,000 score in N2 and uh, we did a speed test too to check the internet speed and also some gaming tests by running the Subway Surfers, Temple Run, 8 Ball Pool and the Asphalt Light, all apps are running in the background even all the system and the user applications I have just loaded it in the background and we still having almost around 300 to 400 MB of RAM free out of 1.5 GB the boot time, the app opening speed and I'm not seeing any type of lag it is liquid smooth UI if you use the afterburner kernel and the L speed mode which I have provided the links in the description so guys talking about the battery we are really getting a good battery backup if you compare with the first custom hyper and longer drone for a samsung galaxy g7 with the afterburner kernel i have not overclocked my device 200 percent but i have just make the brightness up to the maximum and we are playing games for almost around 45 minutes like survey surfers temple run eight ball pool and the asphalt eight all apps are running still in the background even the system and the user applications and we have also served internet for almost around 15 to 20 minutes and we played youtube videos i was watching the carry minati gaming live stream for almost around 25 minutes and also still all applications are running in the background and the final result is that we are having almost 70 percent after using the device for almost around two hours screen on time here you can see you can measure the battery backup by using the gsam monitor battery monitor and also it is showing that all apps are running in the background for almost around 2 hours it means 2 hours 30 minutes so guys 2 hours screen on time by dropping the 30% and we can assume that 4 hours for 60% and almost 6.5 hours for 100% it means you can use your J7 with this room and with this kernel for almost around 6.5 hours screen on time if you charge your device up to 100% so it's really a good battery backup so guys the final results are like in performance we are getting almost around 41,000 and we are not seeing any type of lag while opening and closing of speed boot time is fast everything is just flawless we are not getting little bit of lag even in gaming too so in performance is just past our test and talking about the battery you can use it for almost around 5 hours screen on time on normal usage so I can say that you can use it as your daily driver the first touch switch rocket drone which you can use as a daily driver powered by the afterburner kernel overclock up to 1.7 gigahertz so guys that's all with this i hope you will really like it and if you like this type of my performance and the review test of any room or of any device so please let me know in the comment section it will really help me a lot so guys that's all with this I hope you really like it and if you did, a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. As always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Peace out.